Hello and welcome everyone. We are in Cologne at Gamescom 2019. My name is Nims and today Nintendo presents a more in-depth look at the very exciting Astral Chain. Joining us today we have a very special guest, the director of Astral Chain, Mr. Tara. Hello Mr. Tara and thank you so much for joining us today. Hello. Yep, thank you really for having me. Thank you so much. And from Nintendo of Europe, we have Filippo. Hello, Filippo. Hi, Nims. Hello, everyone. <laughs> now, Filippo, you're going to be talking us through the actual gameplay we're going to see today. Yeah, I think you're going to have to stop me from talking about this. <laughs> okay, sure. And on actual gameplay itself, we're going to be seeing Kave play from Nintendo of Europe. Hello, Kave. Thank Hi. you so much for joining us. Hello, everyone. <laughs> no pressure. No pressure at <laughs> no all. No pressure at <laughs> <I'm> all. I'm good. <laughs> And we have our interpreter from Nintendo of Europe, Kaz. Hello, Kaz. Hi, Nims. Hi, everyone. Excellent. Now, we're just going to get straight to it. Uh, Mr. Tower, for the viewers who are watching at home, could you give us a brief introduction to what is Astral Chain and what it's all about? あの、まずあの、アストラルチェーンのあ、紹介から始めてもらってもいいですかはい。え、このゲームはですね、特殊部隊ネウロンに新しく入隊した双子が主人公となって、プレイヤーは双子のどちらかを選択してゲームをスタ
it actually uh, loses a lot of stamina or where it performs a special action. So you really have to pay attention and uh, dismiss your legion before the counter reaches zero, otherwise it takes quite a while and you definitely do not want to be alone in that <laughs> fight. Uh, something that uh, we can also see is that uh, at uh, regular times when Kave either dodges at the last moment or performs a combo, you see that blue circular, circular flash of light. That's the indicator uh, that tells you that you can perform a sync combo. Uh, a sync combo is basically when uh, you can touch on uh, your uh, legion button and you can uh, basically make the legion do a super flashy combo. Ah. And uh, uh, this uh, sync attack is really one of the core of the uh, gameplay mechanics for combat. You see those super flashy combos that you do in tandem with your legion, so you're both attacking at the same time uh, in you know, a spectacular fashion. Uh, you can trigger that in many different ways. You can, for example, uh, trigger that when you wrap uh, your enemies uh, uh, with the chain, with the astral chain, when you do a perfect dodge, and this all depends on which weapon you are using at that moment or uh, which legion. So the combination of legion and weapon will usually generate very different uh, types of uh, sync combos. And of course, the uh, sword legion can also cut, as uh, we just saw right now. And uh, yeah, these combos are always like super flashy. If you charge or if you do different moves, you can do different combos. So now this part is over, and uh, uh, Kave actually is showing us the other legion, the arrow that we have here, the arm, which is the heavy hitter of the group, and the beast, uh, which is the fast paced, uh, fast movement uh, legion that you can also ride. <laughs> it's very cool. And that's very good as well there to uh, run away from enemy attacks. <laughs> And there we go, we are against Kyle now. Right, so uh, Mr. Tara, uh, Kyle looks like a very interesting character. Could you tell us a little bit more about him and his, uh, his design? Kyle is a very interesting design, so let's talk about it. Yes, Kyle is a character that is a hacker. To make the design of the character of the hologram, he is a hacker. Mr. Kyle is actually a hacker. Uh, so I wanted that to really come through in, uh, in his character design. Uh, so I wanted actually like holograms to be uh, scattered across his body. えさらにこのホログラムの映像がですね、カイルの感情とリンクするようにプログラムされているので、ホログラムが表情豊かに動くっていうところもあのチャームポイントの一つになっていくので、ぜひ見てもらいたいと思います。And uh, one cool thing about this is that we program the holograms to be linked to Carl's emotions. Um, so you'll like during the game you'll see a lot of uh, see a range of like facial expressions uh, that Kyle will, uh, will make, which I think is actually quite a charming point of uh, Kyle. Um, also in the dev uh, development team, um, he's a very popular character. <laughs> I can imagine so. I really like the design of the character, and by the way, Kawe is doing an awesome job at showing us <laughs> super cool combos. I was noticing that there were some sort of special attacks you can do with both your player and the Legion combined. Yeah, those are like some of the best uh, secret <laughs> attacks you can do. So uh, I just wanted to ask uh, uh, Mr. Taura, uh, do we know what's behind the mask? えっと、仮面の裏にはあの何があるのかっていうのは。まあそれはもうここでは口が裂けても言えません。Yeah, so I, I really can't reveal that here today. Uh, <laughs> okay. You tried, you tried. Yeah, I tried. But I think you know also the air of mystery that uh, this uh, uh, creepy giant grin has is uh, quite uh, quite nice. And like are those cables supposed to represent here? Is it like a hacker, like fiber cable dreadlocks kind of style?えっとね、あのカイルの髪型っていうのはあのどういうあの感じのデザインですか？そうですね。あれもあのハッカーとか原始的なイメージを持ち行くにしてケーブルをたくさんあの髪の毛の代わりにつけてみたら面白いん
um, when designing the character, we had we you know we kind of uh, imagined him to to be this kind of character. I see. Yeah, here we go. Nice so, <laughs> They're very, nice. very good, yes. Kabe. <laughs> yes. So uh, this full boss fight is over. I, I like that. You know, like we knew it was we going to start with a difficult one, but <laughs> that's why we have Kabe here to play for us. <laughs> I would never touch the controller in this one <laughs> because I would be not as good. Although you know, I love to be uh, to play this game. <laughs> So uh, we are now uh, going to uh, skip a little bit ahead mm -hmm. uh, because we don't want to spoil uh, the story too much. Right. Uh, so we are going to uh, show you what happens a little bit later after Kyle has given you uh, its trust. But first, in a typical Platinum Games fashion, each individual segment is uh, always scored and rated. Uh -huh. So I'm curious to see what the game thinks of Kabe's <laughs> That's Kabe's why Kabe is quiet right now. He wants yeah. to see. <laughs> and we got S+. Oh, oh nice play. Very, very, very good. good. Very good. Very good. If you definitely deserve it. I'm going to have to train a lot to reach, <laughs> to reach his uh, <laughs> levels. So anyway, we're going to uh, skip ahead, as I was saying. And uh, uh, let's just say that at this point, uh, we have gained Kyle's trust. And uh, Kyle uh, set us on the track of uh, Douglas, which is another character that uh, we have to find track and find out. And to do right. that, we can use the Beast Legion. The Beast Legion can track scents. We have been given a suitcase that Douglas was using. And... Uh, just oh, like, wow. like a very good dog, <laughs> it will uh, you know, tell you where the scent is. That's that's really interesting, Mr. Tower. The well, as Filippo was saying about the ranking system, which is infamous for Platinum Games. Um, Platinum Games also is very well known for its fast-paced action and stylish combat gameplay. With Astral Chain, there seems to be a lot of different types of gameplay all combined into one game. Was this something that you intentionally wanted to do from the start of the project or did you naturally progress into that yourself once, as you further developed into the game? あの、アストラチェンにはいろんなあの遊びが含まれていると思うんですけど、それってあの開発当初から予定していたことなんですか？いや、あの開発当初はデュアルアクションっていうところと鎖を使ったアクションっていうところにまずは注力してました。So early on in um, development, uh, we were really only focusing on uh, the synergetic action and uh, the action that's performed using the astral chain that connects them. ただそれだけだとちょっと物足りなくなってきて、あの警察官っていうキャラクターを活かしたいろんな遊びを後からどんどん入れていきました。But uh, you know, as this concept uh, started to take shape, um, you know, we we started to uh, think of new ideas to really expand on that. So uh, we added uh, more gameplay elements uh, that worked well with the police setting. Ah.で他にもあのアローレギオンを使ってオブジェクトを打ち抜いて、まあその結果道を切り開いたりとか。and uh, for example if you uh, use the um, arrow legion uh, and, sh and uh, sh find things to shoot at uh, it might reveal new paths or perhaps um, <laughs> perhaps using the arm legion um, you know you can carry heavy objects and carry them around with you yes i think we saw a little bit of that before in the previous battle yes あ、前のところあのところでちょっとそれがあの見えました。そうですね。で、今あの壁さんがプレイされた時みたいにどこをどうしたらいいのかわからなくなった時にはあのアイリスモードっていうのに入ってもらったらヒントが画面上に出るの
So there is this uh, synergy, not just the synergy attacks, the sync attacks, uh, there is also a synergy between you and uh, uh, the tools you have and the options you have in the gameplay. And here we find a big chimera. This chimera has a huge shield, so Kave has to use the Gladius, this bigger version of uh, the sword. It's one of the only things that goes through that shield and allows you to keep doing your combos. If he would be using the police baton there, the shield would stop him and he would never do this uh, super cool combos that he's just doing now. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's one of my favorite things you can do now. Yes. Oh, yes. You can wrap, uh, you can do a, a chain counter. So you can uh, use the chain to... Uh, <laughs> that was okay. very cool, Use <laughs> <laughs> the chain to send them away. <laughs> and uh, you can also perform finishing moves. Whoa. Yes. So by uh, using the finishing move, you see the Legion takes the core of the Chimera and that replenishes the stamina uh, of the Legion, which is this blue circle that you see every yeah. time the Legion is out, and uh, also replenishes your life. So what's, what's this on the screen right now, Felipe? Oh, that's a portal to the Astral Plane. Uh, the Astral Plane is this dimen dimension from which the Chimera come from, the, their plane of existence. Right. And uh, because we have Legion and because we have the Astral Chain, mm -hmm. we can, as you can see there, be dragged by <laughs> the Legion and by the Chain into the astral plane. Ah. That is like certain death for normal people, but for Neuron, maybe <laughs> there is a fighting chance. <laughs> and this is the astral plane. Ah, this, this area definitely looks a lot different from what we just were playing in. Mr. Tara, could you tell us a little bit about the astral plane and the inspiration behind the design of this particular area? あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あ
the, the, uh, the atmosphere seems to have dramatically changed. Mr. Tara, could you tell us a little bit about what's happening right now? そうですね。これはあの、さっき見たアストラルカイが地球への侵略をしつつある状況なんですけども、まあ、なんでこうなってるのかっていうのは、実際ゲームをプレイして、それまで楽しみにしていただきたいと思います。So it looks like um, some elements of the astral plane are spilling over into the human world. So it looks like um, some elements of the astral plane are spilling over into the human world. Um, why this is happening? Uh, again, I'm going to leave it for the players to find out for themselves. <laughs> More surprises for the viewers at home. <laughs> It's an interesting look how you, see, you know this uh, mix between astral plane and uh, uh, industrial kind of uh, location. Uh, it's it's really cool and stylish as well. And here we see the most effective way to deal with uh, a flying chimera. Wow! Very nice. <laughs> Using a special ability of the Arrow Legion wow. and another Espras. Very good. Very good. Very good, Kevin. Nice. So in um, narrow places like this, um, like how they did, uh, it's uh, effective to use Arrow Legion to, uh, to fire uh, from uh, long range. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> I got this. That's you know, like it. that's, you know. I got it. I got it. <laughs> okay. We really see also those platforms that we saw back in the astral plane as well. Making yes making an appearance here as uh, we get toward the end of this chase and everything ramps up into a climax. Yeah. Pretty sure ah, went, there he went, is. Pretty sure <laughs> went forward <laughs> there you know, on the bridge, is. but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> here we see humans being corrupted by the red matter. That the red stuff that is on the floor is uh, what the Chimera leave when they when they invade our world. And uh, if humans are uh, in contact with it, they can themselves be turned. Our Legion can clean that up and just like just by moving over it. And by doing so, uh, you can replenish the stamina. It's oh, one right. way to replenish the stamina of your Legion. And... Oh no! Okay. Oh. <laughs> so, uh, the poor frantic woman, I mean, there's Save a, her! <laughs> yeah, I would be frantic as well if I was just, you know, uh, crushed by a giant metal door. I think I'd be more than frantic. <laughs> How is that? None of this makes sense. I bet my life it has something to do with Douglas. We've so, got to find the voice acting is pretty good in the game. Uh, I really like uh, the uh, English voice acting. But uh, uh, for everybody out there that uh, would prefer to play with the Japanese, uh, Japanese voices, those are also available. So you can choose oh, wow. uh, which one you prefer. And oh. one last fight. Have I tried to do a perfect call there, which is when you summon uh, a legion just as you're about to be uh, attacked. And second try. <laughs> There you go. Oh, nice. There you go. The attack. There and, go. and it also leads you into sync combos, of course. There you go. Wow. That's, that's nice pretty sync. cool. One. Yes. <laughs> nice sync indeed. And we, we also see Kave using special abilities like those uh, um, rotating blades or the fact that now uh, Kave unchained uh, <laughs> one of the Legion. These are all things you can do if you uh, unlock uh, different Legion skills. Each Legion has its own individual skill tree and you can upgrade their attack power, their defense, but also give them new moves uh, like that, and also new possibilities to perform uh, sync combos. If you keep seeing the screen flashing, it means that Kabe is very good. <laughs> so, what do you think might be the most uh, dangerous part uh, of uh, this uh, uh, Well, I was about to say, I'm sure everybody watching at home can tell the giant flaming sword is the thing to watch out for. Great powers of observation. That's it. I'm very proud. <laughs> Thank you. Indeed, fire especially is particularly dangerous in this game. Nicely done. Let's see, let's see. Hey! Oh. Still very good. And uh, as we move on now to uh, the last part of this uh, particular segment, uh, of course, in Sinkaveu made us all proud uh, <laughs> with these kids. But uh, we also want to show uh, somebody else's uh, gameplay skills, which again, oh, not mine, okay. because otherwise I would get sweet D, <laughs> sweet D ranks everywhere, all over. <laughs> but we wanted to ask uh, Mr. Taura to play the boss fight uh, of uh, this level, um, the final boss fight. 
、壁の戦いも良かったんですけど、もしよければ田浦さんの戦いも見せていただけないですか。いや、もう本当に素晴らしいプレーだったんで、僕もやらなくていいんじゃないかなと思います。あ、そういうな、壁で、such a good job that I, I reckon I don't really need to play。そう、じゃ、でも、せっかくなんで、今日はちょっとプレイさせてもらいます。since I'm here、okay、let's give it a go <笑>。actually we can see mr。田浦さん。oh my goodness。is a little bit different than、uh,。<laughs> his character、uh, of course he's playing with the uh with the um, twin sister here in this case、mm. and you can see uh you can really customize your characters in、uh, many different ways in this game there seems to be a very interesting customization here mr tower there's a A cat sitting on top of your head. Could you tell us a little bit about this customization? Just a little bit of a customization. I'm going to tell you about the cat sitting on top of your head. I'm going to tell you about the cat sitting on top of your head. I'm going to tell you about the cat sitting on top of your head. So, why there's a, a cat on my head? There's only one reason for that, and it's because I think cats are cute. That's a fair point. It's <laughs> enough of a reason.、Right? That's more than a good enough, enough reason. In the game, there are many kinds of cats that are coming to the game. えー、猫を収集するみたいな要素もあったりするんですけども、もうとにかくそういうのはあの開発チームみんな猫が好きだからっていうところで、あのどんどん入れてます。Uh, cats are actually scattered across the game、uh, quite widely. There are even some、uh, little games where you collect、uh, cats.、Um, but yeah,、um, I, yeah, you'll come across a lot of cats in the game. でもあのちゃんと犬も好きなのでこうやってビーストも実装してます、ね。Uh, but I, you know,、I'm, I also love dogs, so、uh, that's why we have a beast legion here. So I'm going to go right into the, to the fight. And actually,、uh, Mr. Taura told us earlier that、uh, you can actually pet the beast legion. Oh, really? Oh,、so, yeah.、Wow. I can confirm you can pet the dog. The beast. In this case. <laughs> 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 yeah, so, I'm going to go to the next one. 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 I'm going to leave that for、uh, the players to try out for themselves. <laughs> yeah, probably with the cat out there, you know, the, 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 the cat and the boss fight, the beast legion was a bit、yeah. nervous over there. I just hope the cat remains safe. Safe in this boss battle on、yeah. top of Mr. Tower's head. I just wonder if like,、uh, the head is going to be scratched you know, with clothes. <laughs> 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 so, you know, my, the fact that I have to protect the cat、uh, is making, giving me 300 times the usual power. <laughs> <laughs> It's okay, we won't distract you in this battle now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm gonna do everything in my power to protect my cat. <laughs> okay. So, I, you know, I've got to focus on this fight now, so you, know, you guys keep talking. <laughs> sure. Just not to him. Let's no, 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 no. no. <laughs> we'll, just, we'll just marvel at this amazing battle. Oh, yeah. So, here, actually, just one thing I want to say.、Uh, The character, like we don't have a dedicated jump button in this game. There is no button that makes your character jump automatically. But you saw there that Mr. Taura executed、uh, an aerial combo. This is because、uh, if you send your legion and your legion is in the air and you get pulled by your legion, then you also go in the air. And of course, like any action game that、uh, is worth its name, <laughs> you can do air combos and、uh, you can do really flashy ones as well. You can really feel the weight of the, of the <laughs> arm slamming down on the floor. And big lasers, of course. That, wow. Big lasers, <laughs> always good. Very good. So, the objective here is uh, to uh, we want to try to wrap、uh, the chain around、uh, the two legs and the two arms of uh, this uh, giant uh, uh, chimera. And that allows us to stun the boss and then be able to、uh, do some damage. Otherwise, You always have to be paying a lot of attention about its attacks, and you have very few moments of respite here. This legion good to escape laser, <laughs> and arrow legion good for shooting the boss at a distance. And of course, you see that sometimes this boss is,、uh, as he's walking on the walls,、uh, there are all these panels on the walls that sometimes fall. And、uh, just like c a v e did with、uh, Kyle before. Uh, we could try to、uh, use one of those panels and、uh, throw it at the head of the boss to stun him briefly. Here also we see another use for uh, the iris, as uh,、um, because uh, Mr. Taura activated the iris, 
that's why we can see uh, the life bar of uh, the ah, boss. Right. Normally you will not be able to see uh, the life bar of an any enemy until you uh, use the uh, until you use the iris. So again, keeping with the spirit of each thing you do as multiple purposes or each tool you have uh, can be used in different ways. He's pretty agile for being such a big guy. Yeah, he. I, I was just about to comment on the fact that I'm really liking the fact that he's using the entire area and he's not a, a static boss in any shape or form. Yeah. Actually, uh, for uh, people that are, have been following uh, our shows at uh, uh, E3, for example, they might have seen a different version of the Homunculus, ah. a completely different boss battle uh, that was there. This is uh, the Homunculus beta, so it's a different. <laughs> and big sign. Perfect. Arm Legion. The Arm Legion. The nice. <laughs> That's really <All> right. cool. <laughs> There was always some humor, some TV <laughs> cheek uh, humor uh, in Platinum Games title. And there we can go for our last phase. Oh, wow. Yeah, I like that uh, faster punching combo <laughs> with the Army Legion. So I noticed as well, Filippo, the, the numbers that appear, they, they sometimes are in different colors. So is it the, the, when they're in yellow, is that some kind of critical hit? Yes, or? it's just higher. Yeah, you're doing, you're hitting in a right. place higher damage. I mean, Whoa. I do. Very cool. Yeah, incredibly dramatic. The music, uh, <laughs> the rain, uh, the light effects, <laughs> everything like really makes it. This is how you make a great action. So. <laughs> oh, nice play. <laughs> <laughs> nice play. <laughs> We're all waiting for the score. Oh, yes, oh, very, good. very good. Very good. Excellent. <laughs> we would not have settled for anything, anything else. There you go, I'll damn it still. <laughs> so, Mr. Uh, Mr. Tower, first and foremost, your cat survived. <laughs> yeah, I managed somehow. Excellent job. And thank you so much for showcasing some fantastic gameplay there. For the viewers who are watching at home, do you have any uh, last remarks you'd like to give them? あの、最後に視聴者に向けてあのメッセージなどありますか。そうですね。あのいよいよアストラルチェーン発売まであと少しになりました。ね、この完全新規IPの作品で見た目もアクションもかなり癖があるものになっているんですけど、このゲームでし